Back here with another Tesla software update. This time it's 2022.44.2 plus the additional features that were in the previous version. There was a couple features there that were really nice, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the features of this one. So be sure to stay to the end so you can catch all the latest updates. And then hopefully before the end of the year, we're getting that uh, Tesla Christmas update, which I haven't heard anything yet, but once I do, I will be sure to post it for you guys. Looking forward to seeing possibly uh, Apple Music coming to Tesla. So let's hope for it. So let's get into it. So we're looking at the screen here and uh, you can see that 44.2, it really only had two items listed, which are the camera based detection and a new language, which is the uh, Thai language. So let's kind of go ahead and, and just take a look at this camera based detection. So when camera-based detection is enabled, Sentry Mode will use the vehicle's external cameras in addition to the vehicle's sensors to detect a security event while parked. If disabled, the vehicle will only save clips to the USB drive if a physical threat is detected. And then it tells you where to go to adjust it. So the thing that I see here is you you may be getting like false alarms with all the people walking by your car and it's, you know, maybe you're, you don't want to see that. So now you can turn that off. But the problem with that is, is if some event does happen, uh, you may not capture it. So me personally, I'm going to leave my camera detection on. So let's go ahead and look at that. So it's under, under the car, under security or safety. And then you can see here, that's the camera-based detection. And so that's right. when camera-based detection is enabled, sentry mode will use the vehicle's external cameras in addition to the vehicle sensors to detect a security event while parked. If disabled, the vehicle will only save clips to the USB drive if a physical threat has been detected. So that, that's a clear indication to me that uh, what will happen is if someone were to bump into your car, it probably won't capture any events. Uh, they could maybe clip your car with their door and it might not set it off. But if they break into your car, it's going to set it off. So me personally, like I said, I'm just going to leave that turned on. So I have mine by default, it comes on. You actually have to turn that off. Another addition to sentry mode is the ability to adjust the length of the clip that is captured during a sentry event. Uh, I can't show you because it's not available here in Canada, but it is available in the United States. So you'll just have to go in there. It's in the same security settings. So under safety, and you can go ahead and just check that out. Uh, by default, it should be set just fine, but if you're finding that it's not capturing enough, you could lengthen it. And if you're finding it too long, you could uh, lower the setting. Anyway, it's another feature just to be able to adjust it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so on to the 2022.40 update. So you can see the first one here is sentry mode with dog mode. Uh, your vehicle and your pet can be kept safe by activating dog mode and sentry mode at the same time. Sentry mode alarms are silenced if the dog mode and sentry mode are both enabled. Mobile app notification will be sent and video footage will be saved. So here in British Columbia, it's against the law to leave your pets in the car alone, regardless of temperature outside. So for us out here, really no benefit to it at all. Uh, just check with your province or state laws to be allowed to leave your pets in your car. Anyway, that's a pretty good feature. If, if you're allowed to do that, at least you can now have the sentry mode and dog mode on at the same time. Tesla also added tire configuration optimization uh, in 40.x. It wasn't there before. So what that allows you to do is when you go ahead and you swap out your tires from summers to winters or you're rotating the tires, they're recommending that you go in there and tell them in the software that you've rotated the tires or you've changed the tires this way. It's measuring all the time and it knows if your tire tread is starting to get low. So this will avert some of those uh, false indications by doing that. And so all you do is go into service, wheel and tire configuration, tires, and then you go ahead and you select. So it says here, run this configuration after each tire rotation 
or replacement to optimize the drive. Winter tires are indicated by snowflake symbols on the tire wall. So all you're going to do is select which one they are all season. And then you have to press the brake with the key present to update. So that's what you would do after a tire rotation is you would go ahead and select this one right here. So the next time I rotate my tires, I'll be doing that. So that's a pretty good feature. Um, it could eliminate some of those false indications that your tire tread is low because it knows exactly how far uh, a tire travels. And over time, it will indicate that your one of your tires would be low. With this update, Tesla has added a new indicator light that appears near the other indicators on the left hand side. This new indicator appears to signal that regenerative braking is limited and that brakes will be applied in order to provide consistent experience when slowing down. So that icon shows up when uh, your battery is topped up, you know, above 90%. It's also maybe cold. And so your car will brake because you have limited regen, that icon will appear. Uh, quite a few people have done an update and seen that and didn't know what it was for. Again, it's there for you to be able to know that uh, your regen is limited. Now, this is the one that I've been waiting for in a long time. If you listen to AM radio, you always had to select a sub channel to an FM station. And you never knew what it was. And I just didn't understand why there was no icons for the AM radios, but there were for the FM. So now if you go to radio, you can see now there's icons for the radio. These are my favorite stations and you can see that this is an FM station and this is AM 730. It's got the, the appropriate icon right there, but it's it has the sub channel 101.1 HD3. And you can see the HD2 is 980 CKNW, so it's nice. We now have the icons for both AM, FM. If I just look at stations, those are all the stations that are available to me uh, here in Vancouver, British Columbia. So I really like this. This is like my favorite feature of the last couple uh, rollouts of updates. So yeah, this one's been this one's been long overdue, and I'm really happy that we have it. So there are just a few updates over the past two updates, uh, 40.x and 44.2. Uh, we're really just sitting here waiting for our Christmas update. Uh, we've only got a couple more weeks for that, but uh, normally just before Christmas, we get a massive update and I am looking for Apple Music to be added to that version. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when I uh, create new videos like this. Thanks for watching.